the weather. I know that we were waking up to some humid temperatures, yes. but it looks like the rain's coming our way. Yeah, it's uh, getting a little bit closer now, all with this cold front, but still ahead of it, we're dealing with that warm and humid air, and it's going to stay on the muggy side at least throughout most of the afternoon. So let's get a bit of a closer look here. Again, you can see we had a few stray showers roll through earlier, especially south of the city, but now into parts of Mercer, even into Lawrence County, you had a few isolated showers. Venango passing right through Franklin, some of that light rain. There's also another little rain cell that's going to hit parts of uh, Lawrence and Mercer County right on the border. But overall, the, the stronger thunderstorms will start to develop really as we get later in the afternoon, 2.30, 3 o'clock, all that daytime heating and that cold front approaching. That's why we are all under a elevated risk for severe thunderstorms. And when I say that, our biggest threat with any of these storms is going to be some heavy rain and possibility even some gusty winds. We could have wind gusts up to 40 to 50 miles per hour. Hail, still the potential threat with any thunderstorm rolling through, but the biggest threat is the rain and the winds. Here's future cast putting it in motion for you. That cold front moves through this evening, then high pressure is going to start to build in. It's going to give us some very pleasant conditions as we get into the middle and end of this upcoming week. You will have some areas of fog early tomorrow morning, but as that high continues to move eastward, it's going to decrease that cloud cover, give us plenty of sunshine. Next chance for some showers and storms looks like it's going to move in as we get into Friday. Now, here's a closer look. You can see around 2, 3 o'clock, very scattered, but still the threat for some of these thunderstorms moving into parts of Lawrence, Beaver, Allegheny, even into Butler, stretching down into Westmoreland, even into Fayette and Somerset County. By the time we get into 6 o'clock, Still very scattered. Looks like a lot of the heavier rain and thunderstorms will mainly just be east of our area. The nice thing about this cold front, it's a fast mover. So these storms will be in and out relatively quickly. As we get into around 6 o'clock early tomorrow morning, heading back to work, you're going to send the kids off to school. We'll have some fog, but look how those clouds decrease. And we will see a pretty nice finish to the day. It looks good even as we get into Thursday. Tropical Storm Dolly, here's an update for you. Right now, moving west northwest, about 16 miles per hour. Maximum sustained winds at 50 miles per hour. So it's not a hurricane status, but still could pack a punch, expecting to make landfall later on today. And it will continue to weaken as it gets into tomorrow. Here's a live look over the Fort Pitt Bridge. Some of the clouds breaking, see some sunshine, but overall, more clouds than anything right now. 77 degrees currently in the city. Winds coming out of the west southwest at 7 miles per hour. Those winds will start to pick up, and with any thunderstorm rolling through, we could have some strong winds as well. Already 81 in Newcastle, also into Beaver. 77 West Mifflin, even Washington. 79 in Altoona. 73 currently into Deep Creek. Temps really only climbing into the low 80s today. It will be muggy and breezy. Showers and storms throughout the afternoon and early evening. Some of these storms could be strong to severe. The showers will end early this evening, then decreasing clouds, but still some areas of fog early tomorrow morning. Those temps still on the mild side, only into the low 60s. Here's your four day forecast really heating up for us Thursday and Friday. We'll see temps almost near 90 degrees. On Friday. It's hard to believe we're in September, the unofficial end of summer, and it finally starts to feel like summer for us. Friday and into early Saturday, uh, still a little questionable in the timing of this front, but right now it looks like Friday night into early Saturday morning, so that could be an issue for high school football. Steeler game looks good, though. Sunday still looks great. Okay, good stuff. Thanks, Ashley.